I don't know if there's any others out there, but um, I don't know how to say this, but I was born with what people would call a gift, kind of one you get but you can't return it. Um, ever since I was younger, I used to see uh, spirits, and um, honestly, it was quite scary. And um, after a while, I started, you know, like fighting this to the point where I blocked it out. I shoved it down so far. I uh, drank and um, I did drugs to kind of get over it when I got older. And um, everything was quiet for like the longest time. I had no problems. Then it started with the dreams. And uh, I could kind of see some things happening before they happened. Then, um, you know, the spirits started coming back around. But, you know, these are like new spirits. And uh, it's just like people like I feel a connection to, you know, like who have had the same problems that I've had or into the same things that I'm into. You know, music and art type stuff in spirits who um, were former musicians, artists, you know. I mean, I'm no celebrity psychic or anything like that. I'm not no Teresa Caputa in, or anything, you know. It's just, I hate this because it's so draining and it hurts and people think, oh, wow, you know, if you have a gift like that oh my you know you can do something it's like no man it, it's a pain I hate it but I managed to control it I you know started talking to some people who had the same things going on and they taught me how to deal with it how to control things and um, something came up today I was uh, flipping through YouTube and this thing came up about Kristen Pfaff. Who's Kristen Pfaff? She was the bass player for Hole back in the 90s. Uh, the official narrative said that she died of a uh, heroin overdose. And, uh, you know, there's uh, some complications to that. And, uh, and it's just I've been thinking about it all day. And, um, as usual, you know, I just felt a presence near me, you know, just, you could just feel that presence of a female and I believe it's her. And, um, I closed my eyes and I just seen some things happening, you know, like she was trying to tell me something and, uh. What I seen was uh, the apartment that uh, she was living in, in Seattle. I see four people in her apartment. Um, one of them's Courtney Love. There's some arguing going on. Courtney's just like totally upset with her. She thinks that Kristen was cheating with her old man. And she's like, I told you not to F with me. I told you. Now you're going to pay. Now, the fourth guy there is a really big man. He's like a real Bruno type, real strong and silent, cold. Put you in mind of like uh, a hitman on one of them mob movies or TV shows. And he's holding her along with this other guy who's there. His name's Alan. Just the name Alan keeps coming up. And uh, they're actually shooting her up with a hot shot. You know, she's saying, no, 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 please don't do this. No, no, no. And after they hit her, she's kind of slumping. You know, she 
having like a heart attack at this point. It, it hit her heart. And I can just, you know, feel her fear. She's, she's scared and afraid. But she's not conscious. So they strip her down, put her in the bathtub. And like a kneeling position. But, I mean, Kristen is, you know, I mean, she's not dead yet. But she's, you know, kind of unconscious but fighting trying to fight this so after they put her in the tub they lock the door and leave and uh, you know I see her you know she's you know afraid and then eventually she dies and she was there for a very very long time I mean she, nobody was there you know call 911 or anything I mean I'm looking at eight nine hours maybe ten till uh, she's found the next day and uh, yeah she was murdered she did not die of a heroin overdose she died of a heroin overdose but not by her hand yes she had some problems prior to that thanks to Courtney Love but you know she got clean and didn't want nothing to do with it and uh, the thing is is um, Courtney I see her she's trying to cover her tracks and Eric Erlinson is putting on a show oh she was the love of my life and he's you know fake crying you know making it more than what it is and I mean Eric I see just a black aura around both of them you know they're both very bad people and this Allen guy more or less was paid off along with this other guy. I mean, this other guy, he just, I just see his face. He's just so cold, a cold man. You know, he's, I have a job to do. I'm doing my job. I'm getting paid and I'm leaving. And, uh, yeah, she was, she, that wasn't no accident. That, that was intentional. And it was done out of jealousy and the fact that she was leaving whole. Um, that's, that's like about it right now. But see, as I said, I have this, you know, now I'm not going to feel good. I feel dra I'm feeling drained already. Yeah, comments are going to be shut off on this because I, uh, I don't need no flack from anybody. You know, saying I'm nuts or whatever. But, you know, that's my psychic reading on this and uh, I hope the case gets reopened one day and Courtney Love pays for what she did so cheers <laughs>